Hollywood is on the very edge of fall as crowd numbers plunge to an amazing 22-year low, as indicated by ticket deals information. With the interminable destroying of President Trump by Hollywood's tip-top and the various pedophile and assault outrages proceeding to unfurl, the American individuals are getting some distance from Hollywood-delivered films in their droves. The quantity of tickets sold in 2017 dropped 4% to $1.26 billion, the most minimal level since 1995, as per moderate appraisals from studio administrators. Latims.com reports, the fall-off in ticket deals can generally be clarified by a modest bunch of motion pictures that floundered, particularly amid the terrible summer season that posted the most noticeably awful outcomes in over two decades. Indeed, even such enormous hits as Ponder Woman, Thor, Ragnarok and It couldn't compensate for a dull summer lineup populated by flimsy establishments, Alien, Covenant, and ineffectively audited retreads, The Mummy. Nonetheless, the long-haul decrease in participation reflects foundational challenges confronting the business. Crowds are investing less energy heading off to the films and are expending greater amusement on little screens and through gushing administrations, for example, Netflix and Amazon that are burning through billions on unique video content. In the meantime, while higher ticket costs have balanced participation decays, they have made customers pickier about what films they're willing to go see. Furthermore, those undeniably perceiving customers swing to online networking and Rotten Tomatoes to choose what's justified regardless of their chance and cash. You can't pull a quick one on the crowd, said Greg Foster, CEO of IMAX Entertainment. The instruments that are accessible for purchasers to choose how and where to spend diversion dollars are so huge. Buyers realize what works and what doesn't well before the item ends up plainly accessible. Difficulties in the cinema world are powering an influx of media combination. Walt Disney Company this month declared a blockbuster arrangement to purchase diversion resources from Rupert Murdoch's 21st Century Fox for $52.4 billion. Murdoch's unexpected choice to offer the greater part of his media realm was in any event halfway spurred by worries about the eventual fate of the motion picture business in a world commanded by spilling, investigators said. Silver screen ties additionally are building up to better contend. Great Entertainment Group, the country's second biggest performance center proprietor, a month ago consented to pitch to British auditorium organizations in world for $3.6 billion. For studios, the movies has turned into a place where there is rulers and poor people, with a modest bunch of films and several studios progressively commanding the business. As of December 17, Walt Disney Company What's More, Warner Brothers represented 40% of residential piece of the pie. In 2012, the best two studios, Sony and Warner Brothers, just took up 30% of the business add up to. Of the 165 wide discharge motion pictures this year, the main 20 asserted 51% of ticket deals in 2017, speaking to a 2% expansion from a year ago as indicated by gauges from wholesalers. Five years back, the 20 greatest motion pictures represented around 40% of yearly earns. It's an extremely twofold business between those who are well off and the less wealthy, said Jeff Goldstein, head of local dissemination for Warner Brothers. No place was that pattern clearer than a weekend ago, when the vivified Fox motion picture Ferdinand opened against Disney's The Last Jedi. The $111 million children's film about a battling unwilling bull opened with a pathetic $13 million, because of an absence of group of onlookers' enthusiasm for the story and rivalry from Pixar's hit PC energized motion picture Coco. By differentiate, the new Star Wars opened with $220 million, almost 17 times Ferdinand's make a big appearance. Hollywood's absence of new thoughts likewise host ticket deals. Purchasers obviously dismissed maturing establishments and retreads of old ideas and characters, particularly amid the mid-year months. Scarcely any individuals needed to see Paramount's are appraised Baywatch restoration or Universal's reboot of The Mummy, which should kick begin a progression of creature motion pictures. Same for the fifth Transformers film. The movies that failed to meet expectations were the fifth or eighth in the establishment, 
said Eric Wold, a diversion and media examiner with B. Riley FBR Incorporated. Those establishments were at that point on the decrease, so you can't anticipate that individuals will go race to them.